Okay, so it's Saturday, and it's November, despite there being a ton of Halloween stuff still happening on my desk. Um, I've got some coffee with some questionable cinnamon floaties, and yesterday, in the mail, I got this. So if you're a fan of Shiny, you might know that um, they released this doll set of a chick which is meant to represent Taemin, and then his cat, Kung. This box was very, very sweet, and this was like 40,000 won, you can see here, for the two dolls and some truly... They're actually a lot softer than I was expecting them to be. I think Taemin needs a little bit of a trim. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That's okay. That's okay. We can give you a haircut. So this is supposed to be Taemin or Taemari, and then this is the... They are quite soft, they just need some haircuts. <laughs> it's pretty easily fixed. Oh, the tail is so sweet! Look at that little tail, okay. <laughs> so I guess if I want to make a beanie, I can use this as like a reference. It's got a hole in it. Is that because it's meant to be for her too? Wait, whose hat is supposed to go where? Why is there a hole in it? Confusion! That's kind of cute. Ugh. Whatever's for mine, I think I'd make them a little bit bigger. Okay, well, let's put them somewhere and never use them again. If I could just direct your attention over here. This is the um, season's greeting that came out uh, yesterday, or well, sometime this week. So I really want to do this little beret thing. This is the like color that I use for my dolls. That could make a cute beret color. Let's see what happens. Let's just go for it. And then for Kungi, Kung is like actually a cat, so uh, I can go wild and do whatever I like with her. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have a lot of like, like pinks and sweet sort of pastel colors that I might use to make her a little outfit. So that's what today's mission is. And I kind of want to see what I can get accomplished in like one day. That's, that's, that's the mission for today. Crochet hook sizes. What does it mean? Metric. What does that mean? What does that mean? I can't believe I've been crocheting this long and I've never looked this up. If I'm reading this correctly, these ones are the ones I should be using. So I think I'm going to use this one. I don't know, I always feel like <clears throat> hook sizes are really arbitrary. Because it's just like, oh, this works, might as well. Like, <laughs> what does it matter if it works? <laughs> just use whatever you want. Who makes the rules? People make the rules. Why do I have to follow them? That's the problem with having, like, UK size terms and US size terms and Japan size. Oh my gosh, are they Japan size terms? Oh my gosh, yeah, look, they're Japan. <sighs> Japan. I, I literally have been crocheting for so long. I started at the beginning of the, <laughs> the pandemic. I've just been winging it. I mean, it's been working out, kind of, I guess. That's probably the same size as the circle that we have at the moment. So I think what I'm going to do is do like maybe two more rows <clears throat> and then we might see about like going back in because we're making a beret so essentially it's just like a big circle and then the circle goes back in <laughs> and then the hole probably should be about this big because this, this dude's got like this really big eggy head. So we want the beret to make this huge enormous egghead look teeny tiny. So maybe I'll even go three more roads. Let's just see what happens. Okay friends, we're all, all out of coffee. We have this enormous circle, which, you know, if we were going for oversized on this chick, eh, I think we might be getting there. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven rows. So I think that's gonna look pretty cute. So I don't think I've explained this yet, but basically I thought it was six in the middle and I've been increasing for every row. What I'm gonna do now is probably put two, maybe three rows without increasing, which is gonna put a lip on this like beret. So I'll go ahead and do those rows. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's gonna work. <laughs> so cute, stop. Okay, so now we're gonna start decreasing because obviously we went out, we've got our circle, we've got like a bit of a brim happening here. And so now I'm gonna start decreasing and going in. So uh, this one currently has 72 stitches all the way around. So basically I'm gonna go 10 stitches and then decrease. 10 stitches, decrease, 10 stitches, decrease. So there's gonna be six decrease decreases. And then I, after I do a row, I basically think I'm gonna like try it on the head and see if it will stay. And then I'll decrease and until we get to a point where it's a beret and not just like a mushroom head. <laughs> so let's get onto that. Here we go. Adorable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really cute. What I might do is do one more row without any decreases, just as like a band to like hold onto his head. And uh, I think that might be the very done. That's so cute. I'm really pleased with how that turned out. Okay, and that one is with one little like row in the inside just to like give it a brim and something to curl under. It's sort of tightened up that last one, so I think it's now perfect on his wee little head. This is the little wee vest that Taven is wearing. I don't really want to make this white shirt. I could, I could crochet it, but I don't want to because I think it would look a little like bulky and clunky. This is my black yarn. Um, so if you can look at the weight of this black yarn here, versus this gray yarn is quite different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna separate this gray yarn as much as a pain in the butt as that it's gonna be. Let's have a look. This is half of the strand if I like twirl it up and do it like this. That's probably a similar weight to the black. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It looks kind of like circles on his little knit sweater, but uh, that's not gonna happen on this scale. Absolutely not. So we're just gonna alternate between black and gray. So I think, gosh, that really needs a trim, doesn't it? I think what I'm gonna do is just make a square about yay big for the back. And then on the front, we're gonna attempt to do like a V-neck thing. Fingers crossed, but let's do the square for the back first. 16, 17, 18. So that's, might be a bit big, but honestly, if it's too big, it'll probably look cute. So, so you can see I've just alternated between those two colors. I'm just gonna keep going until I've got enough to cover Mr. Chicken's back. I will show you what I've got when I get to the end. How about that, guys? I promise. That will probably be far more entertaining than watch me do this nonsense for the rest of the day. So this is the square that's making up the back. Uh, it's, <laughs> as you can see, infinitely too wide but that is okay i will be back momentarily with the bottom part of this front one so i got a little carried away and i'm about to watch a k-pop concert but this is the progress i've made so you can see this is one side of the little vest at the moment it looks like an octopus because of all the stray stuff but i'm gonna do this side and then sew in all the stuff and uh yeah i'm gonna keep working while i watch my concert but obviously cannot talk to you guys see you soon so uh during my two hour <laughs> live stream concert i obviously this hat i think i'm gonna put something at the top because it'll look really cute but we've also finished this little dude which 
could probably be neither. But basically I've just attached it to the shoulders on either side and just a little bit over here because he's got quite chubby wings. So now I think it's the moment of truth that we're going to have to cut the tag off. It's fine, we don't need to leave the tag on. We don't need it, okay? This obviously cannot go over his head because he has this big ball on his head. Let's see, moment of truth. Did we waste this entire day making this tiny vest? Oh my gosh, here we go. <laughs> I think it's both too small and too big. Okay, I think I'm gonna make a little like leaf to go on the top of his hat. I know that's not part of the, the thing, but hear me out. <laughs> it's Damon's like signature thing. I won't go into too much detail because I have done this before on the channel. tired <laughs> it's 11 30 and uh this is what little taman is looking like i couldn't find any green yarn or ribbon so i might try and find some tomorrow i've also made a little outfit for the kung doll but uh i'm gonna leave that for the real veil shot i am pretty pleased with how this one's turned out and i'm also semi pleased with how the kung outfit turned out it's time for bed time for beddy buys so that i can get up early tomorrow morning and go watch dune so on Sunday, I met my friend for a movie. We went to this little cafe afterwards and got a fig and cream cheese tart and some coffee. And my friend very kindly and graciously massaged the heck out of the dolls to bring them to their optimum cuteness. And this is how the outfits turned out. I feel like if you've watched any of my videos, I always get to the end of the, the video and I'm like, oh, it could have been better. <laughs> If you have any suggestions for costumes or little outfits I could make for Kung, I will gladly take them. Well, she looks like a cool girl, which I think, honestly, if Kung was a human, she kind of, she comes off as kind of cool. I also tried something new with this video, trying to shoot it kind of like vlog style, and I'm not sure how successful it was, but if you found it entertaining, I would like to hear from you. And uh, if you did not find it entertaining, uh, maybe I don't want to hear from you. I have delicate feelings. <laughs> Anyway, that's enough nonsense for me. It's really late at night and hopefully I, I want to get this video up. So thank you so much for watching if you stuck it out this long and I hope you have a really fantastic week and uh, signing off. This is new. See you later.